Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks on Gainly Titan. Uh, last episode that I uploaded uh, showed me gaining an ace tanker game in the Boilermaker on Heilbronn. And in this one I'm getting an ace tanker game in the T29. I think ace tanker games must be a bit like buses. You don't have one for ages and then two come along together. Uh, I think the last ace tanker game I had was in the FE4202P. And that one was a bit of a cheat because they had uh, transferred the FE4202 from a tier uh, 10 um, tech tree tank to a tier 8 premium meat, um, tank and I pretty much got the ace tanker the first uh, day. This particular case it's, uh, it's a lot harder work um, although I suppose I did earn a good result in that particular uh, FE4202 game I did finish up alone against two tier 10 and one uh, tier 9 enemy tank and a tier 8 tank so uh, we're at the corner of heavy tank corner um, and I put a shot through the turret of that VK uh, 3001 m 3002M um, I'm never quite sure of all these VKs there's I'm presuming there was a system, it's the Germans after all, there's surely some logic to the whole thing, but uh, I've never quite figured it out. So, um, we're pinging away, we have lots of targets, and they're bouncing shots off my turret. I have a tiger that's quite nicely, um, helpfully sitting out in the open. So we'll be able to farm a nice piece of damage off of him. Uh, most of the block damage that I get is uh, around this instant. Uh, my lower front plate's pretty well protected. They don't have a lot to shoot at except the turret. My real danger is they might uh, penetrate the commander's hatch. There's an the tanks that are out there have the accuracy to do it. Um, well, except maybe for the T-34-85. You probably can pin the commander's hatch, but uh, would have trouble doing it reliably. However, he's uh, I have no trouble pinning his turret. So... I can keep this up basically all day. Um, it all depends on how long they want to keep it up for. Um, the number of tanks that was down there, if they probably rushed down the street, that have taken the defenders from here uh, completely. Now, I didn't notice this at the time, but one of our uh, Tigers has crossed the square to try and get a flanking maneuver going. Um, and it draws away everybody from the corner, but because, like I said, I didn't really spot it, it's only now that I kind of realised everyone's drawn away from the corner. And even... It's only until I got to here that I realised one of our guys was out in the middle of the square uh, battling enemy tanks. So I put a nice shot into the hammer. Don't manage to save the tiger. Um, but that's partly because... Well, I have destroyed the hammer. I didn't realise there was a medium tank in the square with him. Otherwise, I might not have made the run down the road on the T-3485 that I did. However, I know that I can take the T-3485, so I'm not particularly worried about him. However, now when I get the shot in the back of the turret, though, I decide it's better to keep going, get around the corner, take out the T-3485, and then turn. Rather than turning a heavy, big, lumbering tank like the um, T29 in the middle of the snowy street. Um, this snow constitutes kind of rough terrain, I think, as far as uh, tank handling goes. The T29 turns a lot slower on the snowdrifts. So the tank behind me was a Panzer V M10. Uh, it's not a tank I'm familiar with. Um, I don't recall facing one before, actually. It seems to have a good rate of fire and a decent gun. Although. Um, that guy doesn't seem to know where to shoot me. He's trying out various spots. But as long as he's sitting there in the opening, I'm quite happy to put fire through his lower front plate. However, now that he's down to a sliver of health, he decides that perhaps discretion is the better part of valor and that he should pull back. So I move forward with a view to pursuit. And it looks like he's also heading for the square, so I stop and I'm actually making the turn. And then he gets taken out by one of my allies, so now I decide I'm going to head for the base. Um, there's some nice juicy artillery still on this map. More damage to farm. I've had 12 damaging ribbons already, and I've done quite well. One of the best games I think I've had in the T29. So I'm heading for this exit from the square, and I run into an 88. 
This did worry me, the 88's good gun, good penetrating shots and a uh, very high rate of fire. So I close in to prevent him getting at my lower front plate basically and I'm joining with an ally and now the 88 is completely screwed because we're preventing him from turning and we're both getting flanking shots although the other guy doesn't seem to be penetrating. So I've taken the 88 out, um, I was thinking of going one way and then I changed my mind and decided to go the other. And you can see how slow it's turning on the um, on the snowdrift. Not that the um, T29 turns all that fast anyway, but it's, it's not the worst uh, tank for turning. So it's down the street, now another tank has appeared, an enemy tank has appeared in our cap circle, but I'm going to ignore it because there's a tank destroyer down there, the artillery isn't far away. And there's at least three in it, uh, allied tanks between me and the cap circle, so um, they should be able to handle it. And I put a shot into the boiler maker here. So this M445 comes looking for a piece of me. I managed to get the first shot in, the artillery narrow misses it. We, Knocks me down to a sliver of my health, and it's a matter now who gets the reload in first. I thought initially artillery did it, but it looks like I managed it. So now I get my tank straightened out again, and we're heading off because there's artillery at the end of the street. And I snap off a shot and worry about one of them. So there's my top gun. So now we're off in pursuit of the lone remaining artillery, me and everybody else on the map. Now if he as much as sneezes in my direction, uh, he'll kill me. And I miss. He misses. I go for the ram. I miss. Although he should have tried the ram. He might have killed me. Could have been mutual. And I get the kill. So, seven enemies dead. That's Devastator Metal. So now we have the final results. Uh, 5,000 damage. High caliber. Ace tanker. Devastator, top gun, steel wall. Uh, blocked over 2,200 damage. And when I looked at my damage standing, I was practically down at the door of uh, the second mark of excellence. So I spent the rest of the night grinding for the second mark of excellence. So I came top by experience, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.